Well, here we are, already beginning the final unit of this semester. You're prepared for this. In Unit 1, you spent time exploring a subject that genuinely mattered to you. You let yourself be open to learning from a variety of sources and cataloging how that learning shaped what you know of this world. In Unit 2, you narrowed in on a particular argument. You mapped it thoroughly in order to understand how the author crafted the argument, how all its moving pieces worked together for one cohesive whole purpose. You read like a writer reads. You read the how as well as the what of what the author has to say. And that helps you be a more critical consumer of information, not just believing any shiny bit of information that passes <clears throat> by your awareness. But now, I want you to add to the larger conversation about a topic that matters to you again in a thoughtful way. I want you to be a meaningful and logical composer of information, not just consumer. So we're creating PSAs in this final unit, public service announcements. And like any genuine rhetorical situation, you're going to be in charge of choosing the message, the audience, and the medium you use to reach that audience. This assignment asks you to use not only your logic skills, your writing skills, your editing skills, but also your creativity, your ability to enter into real conversations happening in the communities that matter to you and engaging your own audience. I've had students take this assignment to some pretty amazing places. Some have gotten published with this assignment. Some have started ongoing advocacy campaigns. Some have used this assignment to bring their passions into real conversations with peers, with supervisors, with other professors. Here's what we'll do. We're going to begin this unit by first looking closely at the components of a rhetorical situation. These components and your ability to negotiate them with your own topic is primarily what I'm assessing at the end of this semester. So you need to know the terms when I say rhetorical situation and you need to know how to apply them, how to use them, and how to do it well. We'll practice intellectual compassion to make sure that you're going into this argument well informed, not just blindly supporting a cause without looking at the other side of that coin. We're going to work on a literature review that helps you prove how well substantiated your argument is. And finally, you're going to find and choose a way to deliver that message using the medium that you think most effectively reaches your chosen audience. The best course of action is to look back at your exploratory reflective essay. See what you learned and what you're prepared to argue as a result of all that research. In a perfect world, you can use that early research project as a head start on this final responsible advocacy project. Good luck. I look forward to seeing what you guys produce.